Hi, I'm an, my name is Sunil. I work for the life science business of Merck KGA, Darmstadt, Germany. I'm an RTS and I live in New Jersey, USA. In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through some very simple tips in terms of organizing your bench space uh, when preparing a PCR master mix. All right. So the first thing to be ready with is an ice bucket, which I'm showing you over here. And then I've pulled out working stocks of each of the ingredients. So the magnesium chloride, the forward reverse primers, uh, the DNTP mix, uh, the PCR buffer 10X, and the TAC polymerase. Okay. So I've pulled all these out from the freezer. You should set them on ice immediately. You want them to be at a cool temperature. The next thing to do is for each of these ingredients, uh, you need to thaw them because you just pulled them from the freezer. So you can put them between your fingers, that will thaw them out. Once you see a nice clear liquid, the next step is you want to mix them evenly because you just did a freeze thaw cycle. So take these working stocks, I've got the DNTP mix here and the forward primer here. Do a quick vortex just for a few seconds and then set them in a micro centrifuge and just do a quick spin down. Okay, so again, everything is just for a few seconds. And now for my forward primer stock and the DNTP mix, everything is evenly mixed and all collected down at the bottom of the tube. Okay. The only thing that you should not vortex is the TAC polymerase. Do not vortex that because if you do a vortex, it creates this exposure to air that could denature the protein, the enzyme. So do not vortex the TAC polymerase. Everything else, all the other ingredients, you can vortex and then do a quick spin down. Okay, so we're now gonna prepare our master mix. So this is the tube I'm gonna to use to prepare it in. The first ingredient you should add is the PCR grade water. So I've already calculated the volumes. Here is my PCR grade water. I set that on ice as well, even though it's not frozen, uh, just to keep everything at a cool temperature. So the first ingredient you add is the PCR grade water. After that, you can add any of the other ingredients in any other order, it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure to add the TAC polymerase right at the end, okay? So let's say the next ingredient I add is the magnesium chloride. Again, I've already calculated the volumes that I need of each. So let's take the magnesium chloride. Remember to put everything back on ice because you want everything to stay cool. Now when you're adding the next ingredient, make sure that you touch the tip right into the PCR grade water. Aliquot, move the tip over to another area of the tube, suck up and then dispense again. Okay, that's how you add the rest of the ingredients. And again, make sure to add the TAC polymerase right at the end. As soon as you add the TAC polymerase, make sure with a pipette, just do a gentle mixing up and down so that everything is mixed up, everything is ready, and now you can aliquot it to your individual PCR tubes. Okay. Hope you found this helpful. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.